she made these beautiful curtains with designs and they had these little pockets that laid next to the bed and they were just exceedingly convenient and we use them all the time and I slipped this painting in there and we would take it out and look at it every now and then and then after I got the curtains out in the bottom there were these white things and I didn't really understand what the white things were and I pulled them out and they were mosquito netting. <laughs> and what you could do was roll the windows down on the van and open the door and then you put these mosquito nets around and it went around the mirror and the bottom of the door and you could close the door and you could have the windows open and the mosquitoes on the other side of the, and she just, she did extraordinary things. And um, she um, she had a way about her that was very calming and um, very valuable to valued other people at this exceedingly high level. And um, that really what kind of sticks with me is that um, you know she did she loved people. You know, and she taught us to love people, and uh, that was uh, just something. Yeah, and I, you know, I miss her, and um, you know, we grieve, and we're still going to grieve some more. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna celebrate too. So, but uh, that's uh, that's my little story. Um, yeah. Roger, this is my brother, Roger. I get the award for coming the longest distance. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Dottie. Hi, Anne. And hi, Marie. I want to just take a minute and tell you about something I learned from Nita back in 1972. I drove from Washington, D.C. down to Dallas when Patrick was this high and James was this high. And uh, we brought our dog with us my wife and two children and a dog. And um, Nita taught me that uh, dogs learn about 50 times better when you praise them than you do when they, than you do when you reprimand them. And I had tried to teach a hound dog 50 times more reprimanding than I did telling him what a good dog he was. Um, he turned out to be a, a, a real hard problem to deal with, but I've subsequently had two more children and I took what she had taught me about people and dogs responding much better to praise than they did to discipline and um, my children are nice, gentle people now and um, I'm glad that I learned that really, really important lesson from Nita when I was very young. So that's my tribute to my sister-in-law Nita, and we will miss her. What about the wedding present? Oh yeah, okay. So in 1965, my buddy Norman and I were driving to Alaska, and we stopped in Minneapolis for three weeks while Bill and Nita went to California and came back. And at the time, Nita was painting, painting this beautiful picture of a red-tailed hawk. And I'm a falconer and have had dozens of hawks and owls and things. And when I got married in July of 1966, Nita and Bill unwrapped this beautiful present of a red-tailed hawk. I would have brought it with me, but Southwest Airlines um, makes you do this now when you're flying. So I have a beautiful picture of a hawk that you have all seen hanging in my various houses over the, uh, the suing 40 years, I guess it's been. So um, I don't know if any of my children are on here. Uh, uh, yeah, Joe's on there. Joe, right? hi, Joe. I think Julie's on too. <laughs> and Julie, hi, Julie. Uh, no, I'm coming down to see sorry, you. Sorry, I'm, I'm muted. Okay, I will come down. I'm, I'm going back and then I'm getting in my van and I'm coming down to see you. I haven't seen my daughter in a year. Thank you all, and thank you all for coming. Thank you. Peter. Georgine, would you like to? Howard, come stand next to her so people can see you too.
Well, the first thing I want to say, which is a little bit off topic, is that I spent all my years between about 1965 and 1970 in the environs of DuPont Circle. It's like one of my favorite places in the world. <laughs> so when you said DuPont Circle and, and there are people who live there, you know, I think that was just wonderful. So, go ahead. You have to face the camera. I have to face the camera. Yeah. Okay, there's the camera. And this is, this is Howard, my friend, and Georgine's husband. Uh, Howard and I also uh, had a business together and our friendship survived, uh, <laughs> survived the business. Yeah, I lost a lot of money. I ended up uh, reimbursing Bill for half of what he lost. <laughs> and, okay, uh, this is Georgine's story now. Well, kind of. I mean, it's kind of both of us, too. But almost 30 years ago, Howard and I got married. And while we were contemplating uh, exactly, you know, all the, the details, we couldn't figure out what to do about a ring. And uh, Nita heard and offered to make a ring for me. And she did do that, and it is a beautiful ring. Uh, she made it herself, and it's got great detail in it. Uh, and I've had it almost 30 years. Now, since then, when, when she made it for me, it was a little tight. Uh, and since then, I've lost a lot of weight. And so now it has to go on my middle finger, or I carry it uh, you know, on my wristband or something like that. But I have had people offer to resize it, but I know that if they were to do that, it would change the appearance of it and it would not be the same. So I'm not about to. I really appreciate the fact that Nita was so kind to do that and we're really gonna miss her. At the time she was uh, doing some contracting for a dentist and was doing uh, dental work in gold. And that's where she had gotten the skills to do the rings. But Nita also did another item for me, which I don't have here today, but it was a poster for a group I was in called Threadneedle Street, um, and it was our album cover. And she did that for us also. But, uh, you know, I, got, I had the pleasure of uh, meeting and talking with, with Nita several times. She told me about how she and Bill had met. And, uh, she was enlisted and he was an officer and they didn't really, she was really not sure that that was going to work. <laughs> I have one more little story. Uh, Nita and Bill both together pretty much saved our bacon, I guess you would call it. Uh, about 25 years ago, I had a very serious fall in the shower. And Howard was in Minnesota. When I think it was happened. in Minnesota. Uh, and he had to go back uh, for his contract that he was working. He was either give up the contract or, and I couldn't walk, I couldn't do anything. So Bill and Nita moved into our house and stayed for a week. And that was really a huge sacrifice on their part. And I, it made a whole lot of difference to us. It was very much appreciated. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay. Is there anybody else that has something that Nita made for them? Hey, uh, Patrick and Bill, can you aim the camera a little higher so we get the heads of the speakers. That camera. Heads of the speakers. This needs to go back a little bit. Is that better? Yeah, it's just hard to compromise between the speaker and the people sitting down. But that's oh, okay. So, so this is the camera that's... Actually, that's the camera they're seeing. I'm recording oh, for recording upload. Okay. Uh, so let me go around and uh, have people wave their hands at you. I don't know how this is going to work. Can you stand that? that? Yeah. Yeah, just unplug it right there. Yeah. Okay. This is this is our friend Steve Ladybrand. We met Steve 50 odd years ago <coughs> in Greenville, Texas. And uh, he and I finished the software, and two other guys finished the hardware for a project that was doomed. And uh, it it probably, probably saved the company to, to be able to ship that project. And uh, maybe I can do this. I don't know whether I can or not. I'm going to take the camera around. This is his wife, Denise, and, and their daughter, Beth. Uh, here, here's some. Here, here's oh, yes. 
This uh, is, I don't know how to do this. Can you see? Can you see a pendant on a necklace? A heart. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah uh, Nita made that for our daughter and our other daughter and our son's wife at the time made three different ones. Oh, okay. And uh, they made it for Valentine's Day when she was doing jewelry casts and their, their casts out of silver. Yes, they're, they are what, they're what's technically called an investment casting. <clears throat> Let's see. This is a stained glass ornament. I guess it's supposed to be uh, uh, hangs in the window. A window ornament. Steve plays the double bass when it's all in one piece. Yep. Are you able to hear what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, this is a clay sculpture that Nina made while she was taking a class at a uh, local university. And uh, most of the other students made little doggy things and stuff like that, but this was a classmate of hers, and she persuaded him to sit still while she detailed the, uh, the, the sculpture. I'm gonna, gonna walk around and introduce a couple of other people. This is Karen's daughter and her younger son. The older one seems to have found some other kids to play with. He did. And, <laughs> and I was just telling your son that if I have half the patience as a parent as Nita did, I'm, I'm in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my friend Fernando. He and I have lunch every Wednesday and his wife Rosa. And uh, we had a wonderful time at Fernando's 50th birthday. You're 50? I didn't realize that. Uh, this is granddaughter Stacy. Hi. And uh, James's wife, Donna. Hi, Donna. This Hi. is James who's recording yes. everything. <laughs> You've all met Roger before. <laughs> now. Yeah. Got so we can't what now? Got to unpin her from the. What now? Light. You need to unpin the uh, audio uh, because the others can't talk to us. Oh, okay. You can just Hold click it. on her picture. I think and unpin her as a spotlight. We just can't go to active speaker and follow Bill. Got you. Technology. Should just be able to unpin her as the spotlight. I think. Remove the spotlight. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think we're good now. Now I'm going to start here on what really is Katie's family and super family. <laughs> this is Susie. That's uh, Katie's mother-in-law and Jeff, father-in-law. And they are the parents of Ben, her husband. And there is Zach. <laughs> And, <laughs> and and you can really see him when he ties it up in a knot. <laughs> and Stephen, and that's Lori if you haven't seen her before. And this is Stephen's wife, Alex. And it got quiet upstairs, so I don't know what's yeah. going on. Uh oh, <laughs> children, not good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the youngest, the youngest kids are upstairs, mm -hmm. and one of the mothers mm -hmm. said. It's gotten quiet upstairs. So, Joe and Julie, are you guys still with us? I I don't see them on the they don't on the okay. display. So that's all right. So so show Zach again. So, Zach, yeah. <laughs> that's my oldest grand. That, that's my oldest. That's my oldest grandson. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a basketball fan. Okay, now we're gonna gonna show. I'm walking over here to show some pictures. Uh, this is a picture. Can, can you see this picture? Raise it up. 
Uh, yes. Okay. We can't figure out when this picture was taken. Nita and I think it was taken either right before or right after we were married. And this is our wedding picture. I don't know how to... Can you see it? Yes. You can see it. Uh, let's see. This is a picture of Nita and her sisters. The, the three on the left are from her father's second marriage, and the two on the right are from, her, from his first marriage. Uh, some of you have seen Joe, and uh, this picture was taken when Nita was in her late 70s. Wow. All right, now we're going to start canvassing the artwork. This is a picture of a bunch of flowers. Do I have the camera aimed well? Yes. Okay. I'm going to walk into the other room. Let me take you up on that in a moment. We have How many other... Here's a picture of the shed of Grand Prairie that she painted. We're going to go now to a to a beach painting, if I can get near it. Can you see that? Um, so what, what, what we did is, I, uh, in order to, to avoid having to uh, reload every time, in the window, three other stained glass projects. Uh, the one on the left, I wondered some years after it had been completed if male cardinals fed their chicks. And she said, that's you feeding your chicks. <laughs> Remarkable. And this, this one is fuchsia blossoms. And this was made for somebody I don't recall how we came how it came back into our possession. Not just it's probably gonna be a little hard for you to see, but the center panel, the oval, has uh, flowers and leaves etched into the glass. This is a jacket that Nita made for me over thirty years ago. It is still my everyday wear when it's cold. Texas. She invented the sleeve closing, which is a piece of spandex fabric that seizes on the um, cuff and still allows you to get your hands in and out. Um, this this is a t-shirt that she painted for one of the Drissel Brothers excursions uh, 30 odd years ago and it, it shows it. Can you see that? Turn it down. Put the camera down. Camera down. Maybe somebody can. James is going to James is going to hold it. Can you see that? It, it's a fish hawk, an osprey, and she made three of those, one for me, one for John, and one for Roger. And I think that's going to wind up our ceremony. Uh, so that so that we could visit with you, and uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shut down. Uh, did I show a picture of everybody? I think so. I I, I tried to. Yeah. So good to see you all. Have a happy Fourth of July. 
looks like Michael and Laura on Dottie's picture.